Is Lucha Libre fun or is it cheesy? And is biking around Mexico City going to be the best idea ever to see as much as possible or is it going to be the worst idea? Today's vlog coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is Seattle. I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I'm exploring Mexico City this week while with Laura Erickson on her group trip. Make sure you check it out in the description below. So Mexican wrestling, I was genuinely curious. Is it going to be lame? Is it actually going to be fun? I was very curious as we came into, we're at Arena Mexico that holds a lot of people, like 13,000 people. And a ticket is 350 pesos and you can actually get a lot of other things like a double michelada or a <laughs> top ramen soup for incredibly inexpensive prices while you're watching the show. I was fascinated by who was there. there. The excitement in the room is palpable and people get really excited about the wrestlers and people really do cheer. And one thing I learned is that there's a good guy and a bad guy in every single scene. And so there's like the, the good like angel one and the bad devil one. But anyway, I just love how they've like characterized all of these different wrestlers. It's super fun to watch them. But everyone's there. There's a lot of locals. There's a lot of tourists. There's a lot of kids. There's babies. And there's also a lot of yelling and cuss words. I learned some of the most important words and phrases that you need to know before you go to Lucha Libre, including which translates to you are a talented wrestler. This was such a fun one to check out and I definitely recommend it to everyone. It's a cool thing to do even if you just go for an hour or two hours. I mean, the matches are super long, but let's jump into this next one, which is biking around Mexico City, which by the way, if you gain some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing. And also one thing that's really important that I use when I'm going on this bike trip and actually while I'm using Uber and while I'm staying connected in Mexico is an e-SIM card. So I've been using SIM Local, and that's one you should definitely check out in the description below. One thing that I think is really important is that you don't just have your own, for example, I have Verizon Wireless and I get connection here, but they cut you off on high speed super fast. And so being able to stay connected at faster speeds has been super helpful. All right, let's talk about biking. A biking tour around Mexico City. Is this a good idea or a total death wish? To be honest, that's exactly what I was wondering. And I was wondering if I was going to get run the F over, but boom, look at me. I just finished the tour, I made it. And to be honest, it's one of the best ways to see Mexico City. There's too much traffic to do a driving tour. The city's too big to do a walking tour. And so being on a bike allowed me to cover a lot of this city with tours in BC. It also helped me to just approach appreciate Mexico City. There's, I gotta share something that was really cool that I learned today. On September 19th, I, I don't recommend ever traveling to Mexico City on September 19th, because did you know that this place used to be flat and a lot of it was over a lake, but over the recent like 40 years or so, there has been an earthquake on September 19th on different years. How wild is that? And so you will see as you're looking at the beautiful architecture around the city, that a lot of the buildings are actually sinking. I had no idea idea. These are the types of things I got to learn while I was on this tour. So not only did I get to appreciate this place, but I appreciated that we had traffic control. So we had 13 people on the tour today. We had one tour guide. We had one person that helped to hold traffic, literally life-saving, and we had a caboose to make sure no one got left behind. This tour was awesome. It was around four hours. I learned so much. And the best part, it ended with tacos. There are lots of other tours with this company that you can do. So check it out in the description below whether you want to do just the taco tour or you want to do an architecture tour like I did. Such a great way to visit Mexico City. Oh yes. Or if you don't really want to do any kind of exercise and you just want to eat brunch then you should consider coming here to Madre Cafe. It is such a freaking vibe. Oh and actually to be totally honest really really amazing food. Spot to check out in a really vibey part of town. Oh I loved it. Ooh. This was such a fun day and it ended in the best way possible, which is taco time. I actually went to a Michelin star taco stand. This place is amazing. There's only four kinds of tacos and they're so perfectly and simply made. It's been around for over 70 years and it's standing room only and you might be standing in line for a long time. 
If you have a suggestion, add it in the comments below. Don't forget, this is part of an entire series. So check the description. There's a ton of info in there that most people miss. I'm Christine Lozada. See you in the next one. Ciao.